you had the baby in the sixth month, I believe, and yeah. that must have been quite an experience. It was hard. It mm-hmm. was really hard because it happened. Um, I got sick. I had a uh, an appendix surgery, which had to be done while I was pregnant in my fifth month. That must have led to some kind of bacterial infection spread in the body. Um, so my placenta was hemorrhaging, and the doctor said, "I have to pull your baby out, otherwise I could have gone into sepsis." And it was life-threatening for both of us. And within 36 hours of birth, the baby had to go through surgery. Um, and then three and a half months after he was born, he had to go through a second surgery. And he was in the NICU right through that time. I wasn't even able to, I wasn't allowed to hold him till two and a half months had passed after he was born. So imagine being a new mother and not being able to hold your child because he was so tiny and so fragile. And uh, it was COVID times. So there were all kinds of other conditions and and regulations I had to follow. I was allowed to see my baby only twice a week. So it it was very hard. But through it all, I always believed that he would not leave me. And he would, you know, fight and survive. And it's amazing. I've spoken to so many parents who've had extremely premature babies who, you know, been in NICU and had health complications because of their fragility at birth and, and how small uh, they are when they're born. And, and they can have complications like my child did. And it's amazing how much strength each of us have uh, gained from our infant children because it's their resilience and their strength and their fortitude that really gives us the strength. Because when you see that little child, all of 820 grams go through a four and a half hour surgery, it it just changes your perspective towards everything in life. It must be, I think, tough as well. Yeah, it was. Of it course it tough. was. It, it was tough. very tough. 